Uh, the difference between two, four, two stroke and four stroke is the engine itself. One's a two stroke engine, one's a four stroke engine. Okay. They probably think you need to go to a four stroke because a two stroke is more air polluting. And if you're training somebody, you don't want them breathing that, that bad air. Right. That'd be my only guess. But, no, we don't have anything to do with motorcycles at all. Okay, but can you sell me the stroke separately and just give me the extra two strokes? Yeah. It, it's the whole engine, sir. I don't understand. This is the worst day ever. I thought pet boys could do everything. Well, we have our limitations too, just like everybody else. Well, there's one guy that doesn't have limitations, and that's a guy out there training harder than anybody I've ever seen in my life, and his name's Ronnie Mack. Can you help with something else, give us a call. I will do, Larry. Thank you. Uh -huh. Man, I, I kind of get emotional just just talking about it. But going through this morning, he came to me, and you guys know he's been my lifelong best friend. And he wrote me this really emotional poem, and it got to me, and it got deep down in my heart about coming back and racing again and not doing the freestyle. Man, you should have seen it. The crowd, they love me. They absolutely loved me. My, my autograph line had to have been a mile long. Well, no, I, I didn't get a, I did the freestyle. I didn't, didn't race, so I, there wasn't my first, second, and third. Oh, man, that's cool. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. All right. Yeah, freestyling, man. It's awesome. Man, what's wrong? Nothing, nothing. You gotta tell me what's up, man. I can't do this anymore. All right, you wanna know what's wrong with me? I'll tell you right now. I've been thinking a lot. I've been thinking a lot the past two days, end of the night. I wrote something down I wanna share with you because sometimes I feel like I better express my, my feeling when I put pen to paper. And I'm gonna tell it to you straight, Ron. Tiger bong, pork rind, no, that's my grocery I lost that. Dear Ron, watching you ride on, on two wheels is like watching a bag of angry ferrets being shot out of a cannon. You feel so happy for them ferrets doing what they were born to do, which is, I'm oh, sorry, which is being put into a sack and then being shot out of that cannon. And then they do it over and over again. Ron, you're a racer, man. You're not some money-grubbing, dirty freestyle trickster. Look at all this. We have beautiful houses, women, success, money. This is everything we wanted, Gunther. Yeah, yeah, we got, yeah, we got money. We got beautiful Hawaiian houses. I got a net worth of $10,568. I got four girls that have been staring at me all day. Decent looking girls. But it ain't about that, man. What happened about racing? You're the best damn racer in the world. You remember the last time I tried to become world champion, Trevor Pastrama took, he took me off my own dang team. Ronnie Mack came to me and said, you know what? I got a great idea. Let's race the biggest race ever held on American soil on two strips. I said, you gotta be joking me, man. But this is actually happening. This is the world's worst idea. And I'm proud to be part of it. Thank you. Man, it wasn't just about you being the best in the U.S. It was about you being the best in the world. They, they, they just weren't ready for us. Ron, you're the screaming eagle. You got the whole world by the talons, man. You and me, we're wolves and eagles, man. Not crepes and sushi. Hell, you even had Ryan Villabobo wanted to race with you. He's one of the best damn racers in the world. So we're gonna pull another ball in there. Pull another ball in there. So the club face has gotta be dead square. Hey! What the fuck is going on? Ari, my buddy! What are you doing here? 
hitting balls with a bunch of old retired people, man. You're still in your prime. You need to come race with me for Team Puerto Rico. You're a previous champion. You got this, man. You're still in it. Give me a second. What now? Team Puerto Rico, man. You are already champion of the United States, and I know it just yeah, makes three you... three times straight. I know it just makes you sick inside watching it lose every year. Because you're an American. You need to join the team with me. Gunther, it's not that I don't want to race. I want to race. It's the Emma. They're not going to let me. They got reasons like my front end's too high. Ronnie, you're, you're just too fast to race against the competition. There's all sorts of reasons why I can't race. I can't help it. They're not going to let me display my talents on their stage. See, that is what I'm talking about, Ronnie. See, I want to see that fire in your belly, that rage in your heart, man. All right? Hell, even RJ wanted to be your team manager. Ronnie Mack. Ricky, I mean, Mr. Johnson. I've been waiting for you, son. Really? I talked to Travis, talked to Ryan. I'm in, brother. Oh my God, is it my dreaming? Okay, I, yeah, I understand, but what, what do you mean by uh, more strokes? I, we got all the strokes we need. Well, listen, strokes where I come from ain't a good thing. Uh, Grammy had a stroke one time, and for the next 20 years, she was seeping pea soup out of the side of her mouth. Her eye twitched real weird-like. Right now, Gunther, he, he's on the yeah. phone with Emma trying to just sort things out, trying to get stuff going, but hey, man, we're going back racing. Oh, yeah, I no, I understand that, but we're talking about the Screaming Eagle, man. I mean, NASA built this thing to go to the moon. All right, well, let me see if uh, I'm going to do the best I can do then. Thank you. What the hell are they talking about with strokes and... Hell, okay. So I just got off the phone with Amma. Uh, they put me straight through to the top dog. So here's the deal. So apparently we need more strokes. Now, I'm not really sure what that means. I don't understand it. Uh, I don't know how many strokes we need. I don't know where to get them. I don't know who to call, but other than that, brother, we're all good. How are we going to figure the stroke problem out, man? Just leave that to me, man. I just need you to be Ronnie Mack. We're going to go back to Oklahoma Honda and get this uh, stroke thing figured out, whether we need to rent them or buy them or make them ourselves. I, I, I'm not sure, uh, but we got 69 days to figure it out, so the work starts now. All right, okay, Ron. So uh, first thing that we're going to do, and this is going to build up your stamina. You stand in a position like this, okay? And then you start chopping your feet. When I say go, you start chopping. You start chopping and then down. And then you start chopping again. And then stop in position. Go. Down. There you go, up, up, up fast, as fast as you can go. Okay, down. There you go, up as fast as you can go. Okay, break down into a stance like this. You're gonna break me like a wild horse, ain't ya? That's the point, man. We're gonna get you stronger than ever. All right. I'll get us started. Let's go grab a beer. All right. I'm tired as hell. Man, I am whooped. That is everything I got. Think I got what it takes? I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Yeah, it's all four-stroke motorcycle oil. That's what? Four-stroke motorcycle oil. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, well, I'm looking to actually buy the strokes. Do you buy them two at a time, or do I have to buy two individuals separately? Well, strokes typically come inside the motor, so you probably have to change your motor. I gotta change the whole motor? Yeah. Okay. Give me one second, all right? Okay. Say that again? <laughs> 